The Specialized Stump Jumper 15 is a trail bike that I've had the opportunity to ride recently, and I want to share my thoughts straightforwardly. This is a bike that seems to be aimed at riders who want something versatile for both climbs and descents, with some customization options built in. First Impressions When I first saw the Specialized Stump Jumper, I noticed it had a pretty solid look. The frame is made from M5 alloy, which is aluminum, and it feels sturdy without being too heavy. I like bikes that feel reliable when you're going over rough ground, and this one gave off that vibe. As soon as I got on, the bike felt balanced. I'm about average height, and the cockpit of the bike seemed roomy enough without feeling too stretched out. This is important to me because I like to feel in control of the bike, especially when navigating tricky sections of trail. One of the things that stood out right away was how easy it was to get the bike set up for different rides. There's a lot of adjustability built into the stump jumper, and that's one of its main features. You can tweak the geometry of the bike depending on what kind of riding you're planning to do. For example, you can adjust the head angle and bottom bracket height, which means you can make the bike more stable or more nimble depending on the terrain. Suspension and ride feel. I noticed was that the suspension didn't just soak up the bumps. It also felt pretty playful. This is where the tunability of the Genie Shock comes in. You can adjust it so the bike feels more lively or more stable depending on what kind of riding you're doing. I tried playing around with the settings and could feel the difference. When I wanted the bike to feel more responsive, I adjusted the shock to give it a bit of a firmer feel. When I was riding over rough ground, I set it up to be a bit softer and it made a difference in comfort. The fork on this bike is a RockShoke Silo Silver and it comes with a motion control damper. I found that it worked well with the rear suspension, keeping the front end stable when hitting rocks or drops. It wasn't too harsh, but also didn't feel overly soft. Overall, the suspension setup is pretty well balanced for trail riding. Climbing performance. Climbing with the stump jumper was interesting because it's not a super lightweight bike, but it didn't feel sluggish either. The bike's geometry seems to help a lot with climbing. The low bottom bracket and slack head tube angle gave me a sense of stability when going uphill, even when the trail got steep or technical. The suspension also helps here because it didn't feel like it was bouncing too much or wasting energy. The Shimano Delrad 12 speed drivetrain is reliable, and it gave me plenty of gear options for both climbing and descending. I never felt like I was running out of gears when I hit steeper climbs, and shifting was smooth. The bike felt efficient on climbs and I didn't feel like I was losing a lot of energy to the suspension, which can sometimes happen on bikes with more travel. The stump jumper seems to strike a good balance between efficiency and comfort when you're pedaling uphill. Descending and handling. I felt super confident going downhill, especially when things got rough. The slack head angle and the way the bike is designed to handle bumps made a big difference here. I felt like I could just let go of the brakes and trust the bike to handle whatever was in front of me. Whether it was loose dirt, rocks, or roots. The bike stayed stable and didn't feel twitchy or unpredictable. Cornering was another strong point for the stump jumper. The low bottom bracket and slack geometry made it easy to stay centered on the bike when going through tight turns, and I always felt like I had enough traction. I didn't have to fight the bike to keep it on track, which made riding more enjoyable. It's one of those bikes that feels playful when you want it to, but also stays planted when you need it to be. The larger front will help with stability, while the smaller rear will make the bike feel more responsive and nimble. I could see why some riders might prefer to swap out the wheels depending on their riding style or terrain. But for me, the stock setup worked well. Brakes and Components The Stump Jumper comes with Shimano MT424 piston brakes, which I found to be reliable and powerful enough for trail riding. Whether I was descending steep trails or making quick stops, the brakes never felt underpowered. They provided consistent stopping power without being too grabby, which helped me stay in control on rough descents. Durability and maintenance. One of the things I appreciate about the Stump Jumper is the focus on durability. Specialized offers a lifetime replacement of suspension pivot bearings for the original owner, which is a nice touch if you plan on riding this bike hard for years. The frame itself feels like it's built to take a beating, and I didn't notice any signs of wear after several rough rides. I'm not someone who likes to spend a lot of time on bike maintenance, so knowing that the bike is designed to handle tough conditions is reassuring. I also appreciated that the bike felt easy to maintain. The suspension components are reliable and didn't require much adjustment once I had everything set up. Overall, 
The Stump Jumper feels like a bike that's built to handle a lot of abuse without needing constant attention. Final thoughts. It's a solid trail bike that offers plenty of adjustability and customization, allowing you to fine-tune it for different types of terrain. The Genie suspension technology really shines, offering a smooth, controlled ride that feels playful when you want it to be and stable when you need it to be. It climbs well for a bike with this much travel and rips on descents. If you're someone who values versatility in a trail bike and likes the idea of being able to adjust the geometry to suit your riding style, the Stump Jumper is a great option. It's durable, reliable, and fun to ride, whether you're tackling technical climbs or bombing down rough descents. While it might not be the lightest bike out there, it makes up for it with performance and customization options that make every ride feel a little more personal.